Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to some Europa Universalis 4 and this is this video is is going to be all about my mod. I made a mod for this game. <clears throat> it's on the workshop. It is called The Great Collapse and let me just explain a little bit about it because a lot of people probably are looking at this and they have no idea what this is. But um I made a mod and it's it's uh, basically the idea is that um, the the year is 2666 um, in 2389 there was an event called the Great Collapse and uh, basically all of the world's governments fell and uh, for a long time there were dark ages people just doing every man for himself kind of thing and uh, eventually some things started to form some uh, nations started to form and and people st finally started to get a, a grasp of what was going on and everything so this is what the mod currently is um, there is uh, a, a much higher focus on Europe than the rest of the world but I really liked messing around with China uh, that was really really fun but I'm gonna I'm just gonna explain some of this some of this stuff uh, could be this could be kind of a short video but uh, but I'm just gonna explain everything so uh, first of all you have waking wave and sleeping wave uh, these are two vault societies and basically there were some uh, nuclear vaults this was the great collapse was not primarily a nuclear war but some nukes were dropped for example on uh, Lisbon Lisbon was nuked uh, Mecca was nuked um, Shanghai was nuked. Yeah, so the, not like uh, not like super important, like Washington or London or Moscow or something. Not not those kind of cities, but some kind of like secondary cities, like second to second tier. Like Beijing is not nuked. It's ruined, but it's not nuked. Uh, there are some other ruined cities, like um, Constantinople is ruined and London is ruined yeah um, I haven't worked on North and South America a whole lot I put the papal state here so that they would stop spawning here uh, I haven't even looked at the religion yet which I'll show you in a second I made this this is based off of the uh, Crusader Kings 2 mod called uh, what is it called after the end and uh, that's a pretty cool mod I love that mod actually and uh, yeah so but I these are completely original the G and Amazonia I mean they're not uh, they're not too great right there <laughs> it doesn't take a whole lot to come up with this but but uh, there's the development you can see basically the development of the world um, I'm gonna get around to religion in a second but uh, also Iberica is another vault society uh, and they originated here, somewhere around here, and they conquered down here. And I believe, yeah, they conquered these guys. I don't think anybody else has cores on them. Catlin is all about Catalonia, and uh, they have original Catalonia, but they've also got um, Valencia, Alessante, and Murcia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. You got the Basque Nation over here, and you can see the religions. Um, Fado is one of the uh, one of the last Catholic, one of the last Christian holdouts in Europe, and uh, that's kind of important when we get around to religion. But uh, not all nations have unique ideas, and I I really hate that. I wish that I could just add unique ideas to everyone. But the Amazighs, that's just a pirate nation. I really uh, enjoyed kind of making flavor for this and uh, they have unique ideas the vault societies have unique ideas um, New Israel has ideas Ne Elada was one of the first countries I made and it's like my favorite one they have unique ideas of course and they even have a unique government type the Hellenic Republic so uh, but it looks like Ne Elada is really overpowered to be honest they're not even though they've got 286 development um, 
Ankara and Sivas are both historical friends, and they start out with uh, hostile core creation on us, plus 25%. So you've got that, and you've also got the Black Horde, which is, um, they don't have any unique national ideas, but it's kind of close to Ne Elada on development. And they've also got, uh, I think, a historical rivalry with Dinaria, which is, uh, I mean, just combined with the Black Horde threat. It, they've got some, some stuff to work out. Also, Olympia. Olympia is their march. Um, you've got Nizi, which is the third Greek nation, and they're just uh, an island nation. They have unique national ideas, so that's good. Dinaria has unique ones. Bari and uh, Napal both share Italian mercantile ideas that I made. Sicilia has unique ideas. Not all of them have descriptions, and I just can't help that. Umbria, I made these personally, and uh, they have unique ideas. Let's see, Harakea is theocracy, Gothata, and uh, they have unique ideas. Anyway, um, some other unique things are like uh, Anno. Anno is called the Lombard Hydra, and it's kind of like, imagine the Japanese daimyo system, but in northern Italy. So you've got all these, uh, these Italian vassals here, Bardo, Livornia, Ricciardelli. Marinaro, Villa, Villardi, and Venezio, and they can all fight each other, so I like that. Uh, then the French area, you've got Lumiere, which is like uh, lights, I guess, so they have unique national ideas. Um, there's some other ones. Germany, I didn't do, and I really would like to to expand upon in the future, but uh, another person did it, and I really, I'm not sure if I'm exactly 100% happy with what went on there, but anyway, uh, so recently I did the Middle East, and I added a new religion, um, you get this theocracy over here, and um, I don't think any of these nations actually have na national ideas, yeah, none of them have national ideas. But uh, that is definitely something I would like to add. So there's that. Um, I've got these two Tibetan nations. Um, yeah, Korea and Japan. Let's check out the religion real quick. So here we go. Tsul Mori is the desert horse. That's what that means in Mongolian. And it's uh, just basically horse worship. And I really like the icon that I did for that. But it's pretty cool. It gives some bonuses to cavalry combat ability and stuff like that. Koreanist is just basically the worship of Korean people. And that's like the religion of Korea already, basically. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm in Korea, I can say that. Uh, Juche is from North Korea. Also, North Korea is... Um, except they call, it, they call themselves Lesser Korea because North Korea fell. And... Um, so they're just like a smaller version of Korea, but they do have cores over all of North Korea. Great Korea is like the remnants of South Korea, but they're trying to unite all of Korea. Busan is like a city-state. Jeju is its own independent island with its own religion that's just one province. Um, Hokkaido is uh, another Juche religion thing, uh, because basically some refugees from North Korea went all the way over here, set up a new government, everything like that. Okane. It's like Okane and uh, Rieki are two consumerist nations. Japan doesn't have a unique religion. The reason is that um, I, I didn't want to do Shinto, uh, but other than Shinto, they don't really have like a religious national identity. And so, so I basically just spread the other religions to Japan. Consumerist is just a generic thing, and I... Uh, n not generic, but it's... Uh, you know, basically the worship of money. And they've got their own unique national ideas. Shenglong is the northern China stuff. Um, it's just like dragon worship. Uh, they got neo-Chinese ideas. Fanrong Fuyin is... Uh, it's basically a mixture between Confucianism and Christianity. And it's based on... Um, this is based in uh, Hong Kong, but of course Hong Kong is not 
a province, so I just put it in Canton. Um, yeah, so then there's, yeah, they've got their own unique uh, national ideas. Two countries over here that are that. Usually they team up. Sometimes they don't, though. Uh, let's see what else I do. Religion. Great Tower is worship of the Eiffel Tower. Hadakis is a new religion that I created that's based on the worship of Corsica. Vaultist, they worship uh, their vaults as the, the, um, the things that kept them safe throughout the Great War. Catholic, Chrislam, I will be keeping this religion, but it's not, uh, it's not like my creation. Um, somebody else had the idea for it, and I just added in the icon and whatnot. So, uh, salt totemist is like they uh, they make totems out to the sea and they make voyages as as their rites of passage. I really want to add some flavor to this religion at some point. But uh, and then the other religion in Arabia that I added is oh gosh Al Iman Al Hakiki, and uh, that's based on it, it's like a a, a uh, multi deity religion and you could choose your I deity. Uh, father Sand, I believe, is the the uh, the father deity, the like the the biggest one, kind of like Zeus or Jupiter. Uh, yeah, and then you've got like uh, Mother Water, Mother something. I can't remember. And you've also got one that's like the crescent for the remnants of Islam, uh, which there are remnants of Islam here. And of course, Mecca is still Sunni. And you've also got uh, Al Dai, which is allied with this uh, Muslim theocracy. So those these two are like teaming up. Uh, Greece is Neo Hellenic. Constantinople is still Orthodox, but uh, Greece is Neo Hellenic. And uh, that's not a multi deity religion. It's kind of like a more generic one. Um, yeah, but then. Ankara and the Black Horde are a religion called the Black Wolf. And, uh, yeah, so basically, I mean, that's that's all. I, I did add Great Jungle Religion for uh, Amazonia. That should be interesting. Americanist, because I really want to uh, just do North America just like the After the End mod does it. So, but yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Um... And the latest update, it's it's not, this is not currently on the Steam Workshop, but the latest update adds these three nations. And I'm thinking of adding an Icelandic nation as well. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, some, some very unique flavor for here. This, this is kind of a nation that's, like, crumbling. And they're, uh, they've, they've got a lot of stuff open for the Grand Welsh Authority and Martha Noiri to take. So, if I can, I'll add some national ideas. Um, I might not, but I might. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please check out my mod. It's called The Great Collapse. Leave a suggestion um, in, in that mod's comment section. I would really, really appreciate that because I need lots of ideas. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.